I'm Kojo and he's Ahmed and we talk Thanks. about flips, flips and that. And it's a it's a great time. It's a great time. So Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have fun on this on this show. We do. Yeah, we do we do lives, we talk about flips. It's good playing <laughs> fun. To start we're with there's been one thing, there's only been one thing people are talking about. By people I mean me, and that's the ultimate beat with Sky. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm so glad it's done, so I don't have to do that anymore. I'm gonna so, do you have to te- so you don't have to tell Ahmed about it every single day. Yeah, I don't have to tell Ahmed about it every day. I'm going to be telling you about something else every day from tomorrow, because I'm starting on the next video tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be well, telling you about that. That's good. I've been thinking I'm going to try and get, um, I don't know, I'm going to get some different characters in the mix. I was thinking of doing like a little edit where I like mid sentence, I switch it. So, because my brother's coming to visit, I switch it so it's my brother and see if people notice. Like, switch it real quick, like quick cut for that would add to the, to the video. Maybe switch it with my sister as well. See what people think of that. Get your dad involved. Get my dad involved, yeah. Get and, then, and then your mom. <laughs> <laughs> You get all the plumbers and see if anyone notices it. Dude, the whole family. Get Omid in there. Get my, get my dad. Really throw everything off. <laughs> well, I don't know. There was a lot of horror in the B-Twist guide. So the next video, and, and the one before that, I had like Slender Man in. There's been a lot of horror in the tutorials lately. Mm. So I'm going to make the next one a bit more comedic. And then after that, I'm going to do like a romantic tragedy tutorial. So oh, yeah, do it. it's coming soon. Coming so- soon. There's going to be a love story. Maybe, maybe someone will die in it, you know? <laughs> you know? Like, it's really tragic. Maybe it's like tricking, tricking version of Shakespeare. <laughs> Hang on, I might dip out for oh, a second. Yeah. I've just got to turn my brightness. He's back. Go on. He's back. All right, so what Tiki said, have you seen Zen's new sampler? Yes, I have. And I just watched the new show say video as well. And let's start start with that look at that i'm right in the way oh no no you can see it what do you think of that Omid? bloody mental that is Full took me ages to realize what was happening took me ages it does look confusing doesn't it i was it kind like, of looks what, like a full in well in i was like was way. that just the full and then the smallest flash back out i was like that doesn't nah nah and it took me ages i was i was tripping while i was watching it i was like this don't make no sense but yeah, bloody what madness. Do you think? Is it a what? full snapping back out? <laughs> um. Oh, I don't know. It's on that. It's on that weird. I mean, yeah. No. Nah. I think you said I. I thought it was full rounding, and I. I get that. I get that. It kind of does look. It's weird. The second That's twist it. is just kind of an illusion. I know it's because the second twist is almost like. I don't know. It does it in such a weird angle. You're nah. not used to seeing a, a twist at that point, uh, like so, well, like separated. It's what it's one of those. It's mad. I don't know. It's pushing pushing the boundaries. Thing mm. that's a double full in variation. Um, if it was the full snappy by itself without the back out, I don't think anyone would be calling it a full snappy. So I'll leave it at that. But obviously, pushing the boundaries, insane. But yeah, it's tricky when it comes to variations, you know, because the whole point of the variation is that do the variation. But obviously, yeah. with something like that, then it's insane. So no, you, you wouldn't say anything because you're like, that's like the hardest thing ever. But you know, here you are I, saying something. <laughs> variation in, but I, I don't know. I, I don't really care about names. Call anything what you want. I, I don't care. Call it a triple full in, full out if you want. I don't care. If it makes you happy, you know? I, I think it's sick, whatever it is. So yeah. I did this little frame-by-frame frame thingy-majig. Um, I'm right in the way. Of course you are. Fantastic. Look, at, so I've got the blocking angle. So if anyone's interested in analysing clips, this is normally how I do it. Mainly look at the blocking angle, look at the position they leave the ground, try to look where they're spotting where they leave the ground, where their elbows are, stuff like that. It's useful. 
And look, after he finishes the full snafu, gets all the way around to there. And then it's like a more legit back out than most cork ins, to be honest, isn't it? It's pretty oh sick. Oh my God, that knee. His left knee on the landing of that fucking up. I mean, obviously, this is an incredible feat, but mm. I, get, I get what you're saying. It, it wasn't even, well, it kind of, in terms of big tricks, it was probably the biggest thing in that sampler. But it wasn't like my favorite clip. Some of the clips in there were messed up. The, the yeah. one he comboed to touch Sam Ray's triple cork, swing double cork to split, so nice. And that was mm. one of the coolest mm. things I've ever seen. It kind of looked like an animation, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Someone just said that made no sense in slow mo. I mean, watching all of this, it looks it like more some sense. weird game. Huh? He said, made, he said it made more sense in slow mo. Ah, uh, well, for me, it makes it look like someone's just edited it. It doesn't look real. Yeah. <laughs> just got jumping so high. <laughs> well, I wish I'd um, screen recorded more clips, but yeah, someone asked why we're doing it so early today. We're gonna mix up the times a bit just to make these to still fit these into our lives because we mainly started doing free because of the quarantine because you couldn't do much and we're starting to be able to do more but i would quite like to still do free three of these a week just because it's good practice and they're just fun and they're a good time mm. good time for everyone involved eh? hey prince flipper you enjoying yourself hey lucas <laughs> juan you all enjoying yourselves because i am you best be you better be enjoying yourselves fun. If you're exactly. not, we're going to have problems. Listen here, you, Prince Flipper. You better be enjoying <laughs> yourself. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're going to be flexible with the times because it's a bit easier to get them in then. So yeah. I, I'd rather be more consistent, even if it means we change the times up a bit. But yeah, so I haven't got loads of clips, I'm afraid. I've been working today. Had to catch up on a bunch of shit after this B-Twist guide. I was deep in the B-Twist guide hole. Oh, look at, look at this. The axes, like, the axes he got on for that triple cork swing, you know? That so gainer, nice. the, the gainer semi as well was fucking nuts. Like, I don't know, I don't know how he did that. It's just, oh, the whole thing's just busted. He's Ethan Turner. Let me, let me see that first clip again. I want to see it one more time. Yeah, he gets on a really nice horizontal. Well, a little bit more than horizontal, but still mm. really nice. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Mental. Ethan Turner is a phenomenal athlete. It's so good that we've got, I don't know, we've got so many people that are just doing mad shit all the time right now. Yeah. I want to I wanna I, join. Tiki as well. These gyms open. You see Tiki do dub dub trip. Yeah, it's fun. Really nice. <laughs> mm. Got that cork in as well. Uh, cra crazy Chloe 18 says, check out my account. I do stuff sort of like that. If you do, listen, <laughs> listen. Crazy Chloe, if you do something sort of like that combo that we're watching right now, I will, I'll, I'll personally come to your house and you can watch me delete my YouTube channel, my Instagram, and I'll give you all the money in my bank account. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if she wants a load of debt. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just hand her minus money. Yeah, I'm oh. just like, Carl, can you pay this for me? <laughs> look at this. We've got a hot, hot frame by frame here as well. So you can see, look how far in front of him his head is in the touchdown base. Get that distance so that he can block really well out of it pings it over, and then wait for this blocking angle out of the touchdown raise. It's really messed up. It explains how you can do, like, the best cork in. Look at that. Look where his head is. Mental. Mental. And then completely straight up in the takeoff. Damn. Oh, okay, now, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I was pausing on that bit to see how he starts tucking, like, during the cork. Yeah. I know, really interesting. I, I think this is the best cork in anyone's done. So let us know what you think. If you think there's been a better one, let us know. I think Ethan's is the best just because the landing's really nice and it's also pretty inverted as well. 
Mm. Not saying more inversion inversion is always better. Like I wouldn't want it to be like a gymnast completely straight, but I really like the axis he's on. I think it looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Was, um, yeah. What? Yeah, Z- I was watching that that Zen video earlier, the the youth one. Mm. Um, one of the cor- was it the corky or the full in? Uh, there was a clip just after the after that combo. I don't know, I can't remember. I haven't got the memory for it. But yeah, that whole that whole Zen video was fucked. But he did it. He did a pretty good corking in that video. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Like, yeah, yeah. Zen's full in stuff's amazing as well. Yeah, well, him doing the fucking wrapped up punch full in. <laughs> Brandon said crispy trick smash the fat trip court combo. Let's see. Good lad. Proud of you. But it's crazy, like, that's kind of the norm nowadays. Like, how many people are doing triple court combos in the hundreds, mate? Well, at least a hundred, you know? Yeah. Kind of normal. All the, random, all, the, all the random people in, the, in Japan that can do it. Yeah, everyone that's in taking Japan. A, it, that's taking up a decent portion right there. You know, your auntie, a show says auntie can do triple court combos now. <laughs> I feel like everyone in Japan can do, like, quad full as well, like, cart quad. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. It's weird how everything's kind of just... I don't know, you don't even really get a break from the madness. It's kind of strange, yeah. like... I don't know, even during fucking... During lockdown, when the whole world was completely shut down, like, these Japanese kids still just fucking... <laughs> <murking> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty mad. It's pretty mad. It's cool. Do you think... um? How long do you think Japan's going to be on top for? I know we've touched on this before, but what do you think? I think quite a while. Because I, I think it's interesting seeing that newest uh, Zen sampler, because that really, like, I already knew he was amazing, obviously, you know? Mm. But it did change my opinion a bit. Like, I, I'll go back on something I said. Like, I thought Shosei was further ahead than he actually was. I didn't realize Zen, Zen is much closer to Shosei than I thought he was. Yeah, I mean, I was I was thinking that when I was watching the video. It's almost like Shosei puts out a video and I'm like, okay, there, like, there, there's a huge difference. But then Zen will put out a video like a day later and I'm <laughs> like... I mean, just co- combo into like triple cork swing dub to split and just yeah. loads of the combos he did. He did like si- uh, touchdown swipe Rap trip combo through to rap trip to and rap trip. That was all fun. kinds that, of things. I, I really wasn't expecting that. Like not even a little bit. I just expected the touchdown with triple cork at the end, and then him banging out the cart rap trip was fucking amazing. And he did two cart quads in one combo. So he's yeah, really yeah, yeah. he's not that far off Shose really. Mm. And I, I quite like the way he structures combos. Like some of his combos are better structured, I think. Though Shose's yeah, gotten prefer... a lot cleaner lately. He's gotten a lot yeah. cleaner lately. I, I cool. definitely prefer his combo structures and stuff, and the the choice of moves that he does in in uh, in combos as well. Just yeah, yeah. they're both miles ahead the of everyone. Though. <laughs> and but getting... saying that, though, I feel like I feel like Japan is still still on like this kind of steamrolling like progression where it's just going to be exponential, and it will continue. But until somebody knocks them off, because there's more and more people that we're seeing every single day that are just absolutely killing shit, like to such a high degree that it means that, like, overall, it pushes other people around them. Exactly, yeah. So, like, yeah. And they've got, like, they seem to have incredible gyms as well, like, great for training tricks. Mm. They seem to mm. be able to go there all the time. So, mm. yeah, there's a lot of factors falling into place. Someone, uh, Brandon said, USA coming up. And I, I don't know, USA were on top, but definitely, like, relatively are more on the decline, I'd say, like, compared yeah. to the rest of the world. Because the USA was, like, top, but now who, it's Ethan Turner. It's the Ethan Turner show, really. I mean, who, yeah. who else? Who, who's gotten a lot better in the USA in last year? Who's, like, top, top tier? Because obviously there's Mike, but, I mean, he's... he's not going like getting way way better now because yeah, he's had his yeah. injuries and he's getting older and stuff yeah. so who else is there who's really really messed up at the moment apart I from Ethan Turner I can't really think uh, there's to me there's no one that jumps out right now 
Like we might be not thinking of someone. Let let us know. Let us know if there's someone in the or J someone said Jordan. J Jordan is really really good. Jordan is really yeah, really a, good. He's yeah. a really good one. He's got really interesting tricks as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely right. I had someone there. Oh no. And Nick, Nick Fry's doing some doing some shit. Nick Nick Fry's always doing his mad shit too. Yeah. But it's like that, Nick Fry's got his own some, little lane. Like he just kind of really does Nick Fry. Um, What's that? He said, Brandon said there's just dope styles, in my opinion, which I'd agree with. Yeah, like Mason Rowley and then Eduardo, Josh and yeah. Eduardo. Yeah, so there's some really, really good styles there for sure. It's, mm. I don't know. We're it's like, I've been talking about the level. I was talking more about difficulty level. That's where no one's touching Japan. That's where no one's close to Japan at all. But in terms I'd of say, style, then for sure, I think there's lots of people whose styles are up there with like better in some ways people like alexander he's got the power and his style's insane i mean i'd definitely say russia in terms of power is above america overall at this point as well mm, just I because like i don't know besides, so. besides um but ethan besides ethan who else have they got whereas in russia they've got um anatoly uh Fuck, I forget all of their names. But I know there's just a bunch of Russian killers. Um, the guy that did... Um, but, uh, Stepan, Stepan Bogotov. Uh, there's a lot of, like, equivalents in America to that stuff, though. I feel like I've just got a complete blank, and I can't think of any American people that are crushing, like, the power game right now. Well, someone said Andrew Court. He does good, like, power stuff, too. I guess, but I don't know. Because you've got to look at it, because I'm, I'm looking at it all relatively. Like, like how someone said com he's comboing to triple cork earlier. Relatively, compared to the top level of power tricking, comboing to triple cork is nothing. You might as well be doing a cork. Because it, it's so far away. It's so far off the top level. The top level now is people comboing triples swing through to triple cork. Mm. Johan's done... a like swing chains uh, with punches in there too that has three triples in. So a combo to triple cork, uh, triple cork really, it's just not much. It's not but like, this that's isn't, not high this level. Isn't, that's medium level, really. This not isn't like, Kojo's not trying to... 11. No, I'm one of those people too. I do that, but it's not that good. Like, it's all right. Well, it's like, he's not trying to like shit on anybody's accomplishments. He's looking at it objectively. It's just the reality of the situation. Yeah, because like, the, style... the top of the game is just... The top of the game it's subjective it's not like this is my when it comes to like difficulty and things like that and just biggest tricks that are being done most of it is objective and it's not like opinion based it's crazy like even a cork in cork in something that's been done out of double cork yeah. so a cork in by itself even it's like high level but that doesn't that's not like the top top tier anymore not anymore mm. it's just the way it is it's like i don't it's not fair that shosei and zen have done this <laughs> <laughs> but they they have done it. They have done it. They've made triple cork. Triple cork's kind of what double cork was like five years ago. I'd say. I'd say it's at that point now. Trip like because well, there's more and more people doing quad corks and quad cork combos. Triple cork is just yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I do. I do love what. I. I. It just. Because it, you saying it's not fair. Like, it's true. I'm it's joking. True. It's just not fair. But it does. It is very exciting that it's got to this point. Because I remember it, I, when, in my first year of tricking, I remember we were talking about, we were talking with like a, a much more older school tricker called Phil Campbell, me and, me and Kojo. And we were talking, talking to him about Mike. And he was just like, oh, yeah, but his kicks aren't clean. And he's this, that, and the other. And it's like... Back in 2011 or something. Yeah, and it was just like, oh, okay, okay. No, it was, it was after 2012. Um, and Mike was killing shit. And it's just like... He's just kind of doing a different thing right now. And then now if you look at Mike's kicks, as well as all of the other shit he's incredible at, it's just yeah. opened the door to more people. So Shosei and Zen and various other people can just break that door down. And then there's more and more people doing mad shit. Yeah. Because, I, I don't know, I think that's why the power game's kind of... It's, it's a weird one. Because whatever power tricks you do, they kind of lose value by the day because it's all relative. Like there was a time where if you did dub dub, then you were the top power mover in the world. Now, if you do dub dub, then maybe you're in the top half of people at the gathering. 
maybe some gatherings you're not even in the top half of people at the gathering just doing that so but yeah. style doesn't lose value it's like to this day then there's not many people who can compete with anisa's style mm. there's not many people yeah. who are going to do variations as big as he did so that's why i think those things make you stand out more than power like unless you're going to be at the top of the top if you're just comboing to triple cork or whatever and it's not even that clean then it's like there's not to me, anyway, the way I see it now, uh, it's it's a personal achievement, of course. But compared to the world, it's just it doesn't really mean much. It, it's the same mm. as if you did a double cork because it's not top. It's not like top tier unless you're pushing the boundaries. And nowadays, that means doing like trip swing trip. Yeah, you and know, this is why you always could, fucking. But, but if you did like a super stylized cork snapper, then that would be you would be doing something different. If it was like the best looking cork snapper, you know. Mm. But that's that's equally as hard. Like <laughs> it is, it is. It's just it's, it's just a different thing. But this is why me and Kojo are always fucking raving on about like how we need to. I don't know. You, you need to be doing tricks. Um, you need to be doing tricks for yourself and like not getting caught up in the things that uh, on trend or on topic or the things that you're seeing a lot of because it's like you're never going to be f fulfilled if you're constantly... Ch well, you, you're probably not going to be fulfilled if you're constantly chasing the next thing that everybody else is doing because if you're 10 steps behind, every single one of your achievements is then just going to be diminishing in value every day that passes after that. Whereas your style, if you're constantly working on it, that's going to be like a, a mainstay. It's not going anywhere. People are still going to appreciate it and you're still going to have the love for it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think power's still cool because I think... Like, just because you're doing a power move, it doesn't mean it can't have style to it. Like, I'd really like to do uh, dub three switches to trip, like out of touchdown raise. But that's not, it's not even about doing the dub three switches to trip. Because if it was a bent legged touchdown raise, if I had to squeeze the switches, I'm traveling around, I land the triple cork under rotated, then that wouldn't mean anything to me. But that dub three switches to trip done really, really well, and like a stuck landing, and carrying the momentum perfectly out of the dub. Now, I think that that would look sick, you know? Mm. So I think you can also well, these... do power moves with style as well. I think that's its own. Like, I'd rather see a really cool looking dub dub than a really sketchy dub dub dub, you know? No, I feel um, you. And I think, um, I don't know, I think these, these, kind of, these kind of thoughts are really important because for me personally, it's, it's such, doing tricks is such like a projection of what, I envision it's almost like actually just being able to like play you a little movie that's in my mind of the things that I want to yeah, see just from myself. So it's kind of like I want to, I don't know, th th that projection needs to be kind of true to who. Well, I don't want to sound too corny, but true to who I am. You know what I mean? Like I want it to be, a, I, want, I want it to be You're honestly expressing yourself and thought provoking <laughs> <laughs> the way I. Because don't forget that the world is my canvas and my body is the paintbrush. <laughs> You've got a fan here, Tiago says. Um, he says Omid doesn't send sleeper bangers and power tricks. That's really and nasty, I, actually. No, he uh, but his tricking style and weird <laughs> tricks are more impressive to me than a big trick, which, which I get. And I think I was going to say this earlier. I think what Shosei and Zen are doing kind of helps push people into doing more style moves. You know, because if you want to, if you want to like stand out, then there's only certain, it depends on your body type as well. If you're not like really small and skinny, you, you're not going to be doing the things that Shosei and Zen are doing. Mm. It's just not going to work out. If you don't have the same gym access and train from the same young age, you're just not going to be doing that. You're always going to be chasing a goal that you're not quite reaching. Whereas if you pursue style, if you try and like make your trick in the style you imagine, then that's something that's kind of, it's got its own value. No one's going to be able to replicate that. No one's ever, it's going to be able to do what you're imagining in your head, what you think's really cool. So I think well, it will push more people to focus on that. I don't know how people, people listening to this kind of receive what we're talking about um, when we discuss style and things of that nature. Because I know when I, when I was, in the first few years of me training, I would hear people, talking about style and stuff and I'd always kind of look at it and just be like oh well it's just because you you know you don't you you can't or you don't want to do harder moves now I want to clarify because that was genuinely what I think I'd hear people and 
not naming any names, but they'd be talking about style and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, it's just a fucking cop out. Like you, you just, you're just too much of a pussy to do anything above a, a cork swipe or whatever. <laughs> so, but for us, that's not the case. Like we still want to do power tricks and we still want to do like heavy hitting shit. Because at the end of the day, we're both maniacs and we want that to be a part of the things that we do. Like Kojo, if Kojo does a triple court to me, the way that he lands it is so much more impressive than someone, because he has such presence when he does it, than someone doing a, a dub trip. Just because he can just do a swift trip. And I'm like, fucking hell. Like, but, he landed with such balls. You know but, what I mean? But that's what but I want to add, that with the style thing and about what it actually is, then that is, that's intentional. Like, I yeah, don't yeah, just, I'm not, I don't just do switch triple cork. I don't care about doing a game of switch triple cork. I care about how I do it. Like, I want to do it in a specific way is what I care about. Like, doing it in that kind of, in an impressive way. Because you can do it and make it not look impressive. People can make yeah. triple cork not look good. I've seen it plenty of times. Yeah, I've seen it lots uh, of times as well. But, like, um, I don't know. You have to kind of, for, for me, I think, I, I don't think, unless I pack on pack on a, a little bit more weight and start trying to, I don't know, I can't change my body shape, though. So I'm I'm never going to look the same as when Kojo does his triple cork. I could weigh the exact same amount and but it might it still wouldn't necessarily have that same kind of vibe. And on top of that, because of the intention that he puts behind it and the things that he wants from his triple cork, I've had to like I've not I've, I've had to try and assess what I want because I see him do it and I'm like, I want to do it just like that. But then I'm like, ah, it it wouldn't look the same. So what's gonna be most aesthetically pleasing to me? And that's the thing that I think a lot of people look at someone else and then that's the end of their thought process. It's like, I want my triple cork like that. But then mm. take it a step further and think about how you can make that your own. And that's kind of what I'm going to try and do once we're back in the gym. Yeah. So. Well, su suiting stuff to your body is really important. But go going back to one mm. of the things someone asked earlier, what was it? It was about Tiki. Let me, let me find it. Um, oh, yeah. What's your opinion about Tiki? There's this Tiki Wu, by the way. Check him out if you haven't seen him. He's amazing. Incredible. Um, you think he's top five or top ten in the world. And it depends how you judge it. Depending on, like, just raw difficulty, it's hard because there's so many people around. I I'd say prob probably top five on difficulty at this point. But because there's not that many people who are super elite power movers well actually there are i'm forgetting about half of them yeah there are it's hard yeah. because there are the russians like anatoly now he can do he hasn't done quad cork but he's got triple swings he can do cork in mm. you know stuff and his like stuff looks, dub his stuff looks cool as fuck i really yeah, like the way his shit looks stepan berkatov he can he, he can do dub trip like really really strong though tiki did do dub dub trip so props for that not many people can do that like obviously <laughs> the, the, <laughs> The top spots, then you got like Shosei, then Johan, Mike Guthrie. Probably in terms of like who's done the hardest things. Those, yeah. I think those are definitely the top four. I don't think there's anyone else who can get in that top four outside of them. Would Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, I'm on board with that. I mean, there's people like um, Fuju who's really good. It's It's hard. There's just so many people. Um, yeah, it is really hard. We need We need like a list. We need a list that we can always oh, refer Alexander. to. I forgot about Alexander. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. You see, this is what I'm saying. We always need a yeah. list. I was chatting <laughs> to him on the phone yesterday. I always need... <laughs> I just forget about people because there's so many people that are really fucking good. It's weird, though. Apart from Cork Inn, then, I guess Tiki's kind of done harder stuff than Alexander. But it's just the way Alexander does it. Is it, it I don't think anyone comes close. So that's my own bias because I think Alexander's probably got my favourite looking style. Doesn't necessarily mean my favorite combos, but like just the way he does certain tricks, I think looks incredible, and the way he carries momentum. But then there's like Eduardo and Mason and Mike, and there's a lot of really good people. Someone said yeah. Haruki, Haruki's amazing too. Yes, he is. Yeah. Like it's hard. There's too many really good. Well, Tak has Tak has created a whole lane for himself with double flips as well. Like some of the shit yeah. that he's done, pretty fucking crazy. Like they definitely deserve some props. Like. They do. They do deserve props. It's it's hard though with with punch double flips. I guess I just don't give them as much value because it's one of those. It, 
Think about it like this. If, uh, if like B-Boy Pocket or someone started doing tricking, like if he did a load of weird tricks, but straight into air flare, would that suddenly make him really good? Like one of the best trickers? Or well, is he just really, well, like you've got to remember Taco is an elite gymnast. Yeah. So when I see him do punch double flips, and obviously it's amazing, but I'm like, yeah, but loads, loads of elite gymnasts can do that. He's just doing, so what's the, the added skill is doing a good- Just the tricks in front of it or after. But it depends yeah. on the combo and stuff like that. Cause like, the, there's not, there's not other people that can do that. There's not other people that can do weird, intricate tricking combos. And I know it's not necessarily to your kind of style, taste, but I don't know, there's no, there's no kind of hiding from the fact that like, even though he is kind of taking the double flips from gymnastics and putting it in there, it's like... That doesn't mean I it's know, not cool. Like, but it's, yeah, in, it, I just mean more, like if it was double gainers, that, that's the thing. If he, was, if he was doing double gainers and I'd see it very differently, that's what I mean. Yeah, no, you, I, get you know? that, I get that. Yeah. Um, I, no, I understand. It's I cool, just, though. It's yeah. obviously cool. Because for, for me, like, we're this... talking about the best of the best. We're trying to, if they're comparing to like Ethan, oh, we didn't even say Ethan Turner in the top. There, there's too many, but comparing to people like Ethan Turner and Johan and stuff, then I don't Johan, in the difficulty. Did, oh, no, you did mention Johan. Because remember, Johan's done trip swings through to gain a whip punch full in. <sighs> like, is it coming, are any of those double flip combos close to that? I don't know. I don't listen. I'm be honest with you. I'm really bad with remembering things that have happened. Like I don't. I, I have no idea what I've done today. I just, this whole life existed. Like honestly, I forget. Like should we, when should we it, title this one? I'm not remembering things. Just things I like doesn't remember. That's what we're talking about today. <laughs> That's the topic for today. Oh um, fucking no. Jeff said, "How about Aiden Kennedy? Aiden Kennedy is amazing. I love his tricks." Watching yeah. him in person sick. I wish, I kind of wish he'd do different combos to the ones he does. I feel like with his skill set and with his extension, you could build some, you could build such good combos, but yeah. hopefully they'll come. And he's obviously, when I say that, I'm looking through my, my lens. I would like, but I, I never project that onto other people because a lot of people do that in comments. Like I've, I, I've seen that in the tricking group on Facebook a lot. They're like, oh, you should do this combo or that. And people message me saying, you should do this and that. But I don't, I think Aiden Kennedy should do the combos Aiden Kennedy wants to do. I don't think he should give two shits about what I think or what anyone else in the world thinks. But I, yeah, I, me personally, I would love to see some different combos from him. But yeah, yeah. It, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter what I would like to see. He should be tricking for him and everyone should be tricking for themselves. Like when people message me combos, like I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what combos you want me to do because I already have a load of combos that I want to do. And just be my you, favorite, man. You know, you just gotta like totally be you, man. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> All right, here we go. What, What's what the next big the trick next, people are aiming for? Trick. What, what would you like? What big tricks would you like to see? What oh, cool? what big tricks would I like to see? Yeah. Um. What ones should have been landed but kind of haven't yet? What would be really cool? Oh, double aerial. I've been waiting for my double aerial. Oh, yeah. Now. When is Shosei going to do, do my double aerial? When's he going to do that for me? For, for Sam Kojo. It's for um, Sam Kojo. It'd be like... Yeah, like, you know, he does the tucked version, the macaroon. Yeah. Just, just that with straight legs is straight up a double aerial, and I want to see it. So I'm yeah, that's just, that. um, that's just that, fucked. Someone needs, someone needs cool, to do a cool legit. Talking full out as well would be a wild one, for sure. Yeah. Double Webster, yeah. I really want to see a double Webster. Rat full in. Rat, rat full in, but see, that one's not going to... It's cool because it's a rat full in. But it'll kind of just look like a low cart full in, won't it? You like, you know what it's going to look like, so it's not that one doesn't excite me as much. But obviously, still I think really, it'll, really I think it'll, look it'll probably look nuts. nuts. I think just, just the because speed. of the speed in which you'll have to yeah, do it, it's yeah. going to look fucking nuts. <laughs> I think there's like a lot of variated double flips still to be done. Forty <laughs> leg in, forty leg out. 
Stuff like said, that. I don't know if it's been done yet, but triple full down. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. That, it would, that wouldn't work, though, would it? Maybe, because lots of things yeah. we could imagine. But I just, I don't see how you could stop. You'd have to just stop time for a second, you know? The triple full up. Now, <laughs> get Dom Hughes on that. I guess if you did it like a dive. Because, like, think, if you did it like this, like, you know where you hold your hands at the top? And yeah. you just, like, do the whole spin. And then somehow you just, boom. And just whip it all the way over. Like with a massive block. Yeah, I'm not going to say, I mean, never say never. Maybe triple fall down will happen. It's hard. It's a hard one for me to picture. But, like, any, anything but can happen. Like, exciting. look at what they're doing, you know? Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know. T TVR full full, yeah, that will be done for sure. I'd like to see some more, like, full in variations, but, like, exaggerated variations. So, not like. Not not like a little split leg or little baby kick, like an actual kick full in from touchdown raise, but like an actual one that's legit mm. would be really nice. Stuff like that. Full D leg in, something out, pike out. <laughs> that looks stupid. <laughs> that would look stupid. Or rocket cool, boy man. out. Full that's in, what rocket I was thinking, boy yeah. out. Think of that. Can't full in, rocket boy out. Sorry, I thought there was a wasp in here then. Um, uh, yeah, I, I I still don't understand Johan's quad swing combo. Brandon says, "See, that's another one. Think, Johan's done quad and then five swings to triple cork. Like that really shows how valuable triple cork is nowadays. You know, if you can start a combo with quad swing and still do it, like doing it by itself, what does that mean at this point? I don't know. I this is part of this me change. I'm trying to change my mindset on it. Like I don't want to." I don't think it's, you don't want to put tricks on a pedestal. So I try, I try to not see triple cork as a thing now. And I think that's what helped me just do it on the, the mulch, you know? Mm. Yeah. Because by, well, not, been... by thinking of it as a small thing, it makes it much easier to do it. If you think, if you build stuff up, it makes well, it I mean, harder. I've, I've kind of had a similar sort of thought process where it's kind of like, I'll oh, fucking stop being such a pussy, Ahmed. Once you're back in the gym and you've like got acclimated to training in the gym again, just be banging touch down with triple corks out. Like, there's no reason for me to not be better yeah. at this shit, you know? Like, I've just... Same. Yeah. Same. yeah, no, I, I'm really looking forward to getting back in the gym. Triple B. Oh, yeah, Ahmed. I think I'm going to mm. do Triple B real soon. Because after doing the B-Twist tutorial, I learned so much about B-Twist. Like, yeah, that doing Quad B on the tramp, I knew that would be easy just because I understand it so much more now. And I think mm. Triple B on the floor... I don't think it'd be that hard, to be honest. I've tried it before, by the way. I'm not just talking complete shit. But um, I, I you've tried I, it a couple of times, haven't you? Yeah. Only yeah. like two or three, right? On like two different, two or three different occasions. I've done it onto level resi. I can do it standing from like just under chest height. I can do it standing from that off stuff, mm. like pretty fine. Yeah. I don't know. I think I could get it. It'd be cool. Oh, that'd be fucking high. That'll be so high. Yeah, I re that's one of my big, big goals to get. Uh, someone said, triple cork swing through three times in a row. And it's like, that's crazy. But, you know, I feel, I feel like when you have that skill level, you could do so much more with it than just do more triple corks. Like, what would be cooler than three triple corks in a row, I think? If you think of the level you need, there's so many cooler things you could do. You could do, like, cork snappy round... Swing through cork D leg twist D leg, swing uh, dragonfly double cork round. Yeah, but Two also do that... three double variated double corks. I think that would look cooler than three triple corks if you did all the variations legit. So why not work towards something like that? Like think how crazy that would look rather than because three triple corks, your technique would have to be so good, your twist would have to be so fast, it would kind of just look like double corks. You... <laughs> Ooh, double gain a layout. Oh, we've lost Omid. Triple cork swing cork in is for sure going to happen. Uh, yeah, and d double cheat gain a layout. I think that will happen, and here's how I think it. Omid seems to have dropped out. Oh, oh, he's dropped out completely. But yeah, he'll be back. I'll add him back in in a minute. 
Um, yeah, d double cheat gainer layout. If you did it like, so gainer and then helicopter over the gainer and then drop your head down and swipe that helicopter leg to the floor. And I think that's how you do a double gainer. I don't think it would look as good or work as well if you just tried to do a swing double layout. I think it'd be much better if you did it kind of off axis like a helicopter. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be sick. Um, Tiki says, I can't tell between my quints and quads on tramp. See, there you go. And it's like, I, since um, it was Chose's carp full swing triple cork swing through combos that really opened my eyes to that because they legit looked like double corks. Like it might as well be a double cork. Obviously, it's super impressive because he's so good at it. But there comes a point where you get so good at triple cork that it kind of looks like double cork. So, and the whole point is it's meant to, well, to me, I would think it's meant to look cooler. So why not do something like cork snappy round, for example, like super extended, split in the cork snappy, full split in the round. I think swinging out of that would look cooler than swinging out of a triple cork mid combo. It'd spice it up a bit more, you know? I don't know. Uh, I think you can yeah here we go Tiago he gets it he said I think you can do so much more crazy tricks and different and not the same big tricks exactly exactly Mondo um, and he says I was thinking swing double lay but as you said yeah like I think the swing double layout could be done I just think the helicopter version would work a lot better. And it would look better as well. I think for the swing double layout version to be done, it would look too gymnastic -y. You wouldn't be able to get the full extension. I, I think the helicopter one would look cooler, like off axis, a real double cheat gainer, you know? Uh, you're back. My yeah, mate. sorry. My what phone happened? overheated. Oh my God, too much heat. Yeah. Too much heat in the chat. Fuck oh, yeah, speaking, no. speaking of which, fucking hell. This country needs to chill out. It's too hot. It is too hot. <laughs> you know what time I went to sleep last night? What? You know, I was trying to sleep for five hours. Five hours, I was laying in my bed, just sweating. 5 a.m. I went to sleep. Fuck. I was just laid there. I was wriggling around like a little sea snake or <laughs> like a worm or something. It was pee. Little tapeworm on me. <laughs> right, you, you need to get on the cold shower before bed. I had one. Peak. Yo. What? Sorry. I didn't, I didn't know you were going to continue. Continue. Go on. Go on. Say, say no, you. Sorry. My, nah, nah. You cut me off. You've shown say me my piece. worth. I, I thought you were done. All right. I was going to show me my worth. I was going to respond to Jeremiah, who said, Would you be willing to take me under your wing and train me? Yeah, you can come live in my house. You can sleep <laughs> on the floor next to my bed. I'll train you up. Oh, I sent you those morning. emails, didn't I? Do you remember when I, when I had that guy who wanted yeah, to be my yeah, mate? Yeah, he wanted to come live with you. <laughs> At the bottom of the email, there was a picture of him sat on a chair in, in the middle of a basketball court outside. Just him just like looking at the camera like this. <laughs> I love it. Oh, but to finish what I was saying, if you want advice, then DM me. Lots of people DM me for advice. I, I try my best to help out everyone because I know just a... Just a few tips can save you like months or even years of training, like legit. There's things that I did wrong for like two years. And if someone had just told me the right thing at the right time, I, I'd be so much better at tricking. That's why I started Kojo's Trick Lab because I would be so much better if I'd had really good advice from the start. So yeah, that, that's what I'm here for. Message Sam Kojo about stuff. We'll have a chat. Um, oh, touchdown, sw someone said touchdown swipe wrap in but what about touchdown raise in i want to see that because that is for sure possible don't you think gymnasts do like the hamstring in you know yeah i, I think what would that, that did i say hamstring what would that look like would it, it have to be like the the longest touchdown raise but not but not too long it, it'll be long so you but touch then the ground like, really boom. early and then it's just like a little boom. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could see it happening. I think, and like, think of Dom Hughes, but then if, if Dom Hughes was Chausse size, then he would be able to do it for sure. Yeah. yeah. So we need, we, you need someone like Chausse or Nick Fry, some tiny little man 
but to have that skill set. Like that guy, the Russian guy just standing double back, he's tiny. I could imagine him doing it. Mm, yeah. He just he's, It's really crazy thing. seeing him do stuff in person. He just <laughs> pings up so, like on unsprung floor, we were in Russia and he was on uh, puzzle mats and just watching him do an Arabian, it was just, just like jumped. a scoot Arabian. He did the smallest scoot, the slowest scoot, and then he just like a little flea just pinged up and he's just gone. I was like, like how is he jumped so high? Like a little flea. <laughs> it's so impressive. I love, I love his oh. tricks. T Tiki says, I think the next big, uh, the next trend for big tricks is going to be quad full swing. Maybe. See, but I hope, I hope it's not. You know, because like what, is it that much cooler than triple full swing? It's harder, but Dude, for you, else. yeah, a few a few years ago, it would have been like, well, not yeah. if, a, a longer than a few years, but it would have been so cool to you at the time, and it would have been for me as well. But but, I get pushing the boundaries, but think you could do like, um, you know, full swipe helicopter and then swing out of that. Like I don't know, there's so many things you could do that would be more interesting. You could you could do some kind of rodeo and then twist and then kick. So like rodeo, twist, snappu, swing out of that. I, I just oh, rather see more yeah. variations done well, not like little piss variations. More variations with like one less twist. Look, it would look cooler. It's like, you can't yeah, tell the difference after a certain point. Imagine the shit, like the double flips with the double rodeo grab, but like either all the way through so imagine, imagine a double back, but you're in the double rodeo grab all the way. <laughs> so you just ping up and then you grab the knees, slide it down for the first one. And then you've got one and a half rotations in this double back, like double rodeo no. position. That's doable. On cork in. Oh, that, back out. No, no, no. I wasn't thinking. I'm full in. Think cart full in, set it really high with your shoulders. Tuck oh. in, extend into the rodeo halfway through the fall, and then keep oh. rodeoing for the back okay, out. So you get like you a little like, bit of the spin rotation and then the back. If you're like off oh, axis okay, no. on this crate and you like have your head like that, that ooh, would look ooh, so that, sick. That reminds me of a trick I've been dreaming about for so long. Um, wow. The 540 front, you know, the what's it called? I forget what it's called, what? where you do the 540, the 540 and then front out. Filipino. Filipino, that's the one. Um, imagine the Filipino, but with the front, instead of it just being a normal front, like, because this does get weird and it progresses into, like, fucking tons of shit, but imagine just the, the, the front, you do it, and a quarter of the way through, you just, like, whip your legs over your head, so it ends up being, like, a, like a, a double-footed axe kind of thing. And you look at the ground behind you, like, side Yeah, 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 yeah. So it ends up looking, yeah, that would be so, fucking sick. So for anyone who doesn't know, so you block, you do like one and a half spins without flipping, go for a front flip, but keep looking at the ground and let your legs whip over so you extend out the front. If you let your arms come back like this. You yeah, you like push your hips like out real far. That would look sick. You'd have to call it the angel flip. Oh, that, that already is a lame thing, isn't it? But I, I don't know, new, new angel, 2020 angel. That's not a good trick name. You, angel, yeah, angel, good, angel, dust. angel of darkness. No, the angel of good. darkness. Bad connotation. Negative connotations over that. Uh, angel of darkness. All right, that that works. <laughs> that works. Okay. So if anyone does that, we've already copyrighted the name. So yeah. you use that, or you pay Ahmed and Kojo money. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, yo! I was talking to. I was talking to to a female the other day about oh, yeah, just female. about about tricks and stuff. Um, don't do that. She's not, she's, no, she's not a trick. Agent. She's <laughs> interested. Don't do that. No, she asked me. She was like, "What? So tell me some of the names of things." Because like when I watch the shit that you do, I don't, don't know what do they are. That. I was I was just <laughs> laughing hysterically. I was like, "Oh, it's all so silly. It's so silly." And I just told her about the most stupid names. <laughs> and, you tell yeah, about the so stone knuckle. Nah, they, nah, you can't, I couldn't get that deep. I told her about the whole wing whacker. I told her about um, even just snappu. Snappu is something that I, I, when I say it, I don't think it's like a crazy thing, but it's a made up word. <laughs> snappu swipe. 
And yeah, like just talking about hurricane kick and how we're all just like grown men just it's the doing same this. With, it's the same with everything though. Like I don't even think about it like that anymore. I'm like, look how into football grown men are. They have whole talk shows and they they they're fighting each other. We don't at least oh, we, no, don't, no, no, no. we never punch each other. They riot because I mean, we people sometimes. kicking a ball. You know, it's like it, I think there's been so much. Pe people are way stupider than than trickers. Like, yeah, it is stupid, but look at the way people in other sports behave about their sport. You know, they're like, they just, fight each other over it. That's not the angle. That I I agree with what you're saying, and that's not the angle that I was looking at it from. It's like the naming and uh, of things, and it's like I kept saying to her, I was like, everything is a joke. Like <laughs> talking talking personally, like yeah. everything's a big joke but it's very serious. I'm very serious about these flips. I train really hard for these flips, but I'm training really, really hard for a tornado vanish hurricane. <laughs> it's like, come on, let's keep it real. It, like, it, it should be a joke, though. I, I like this. I know, because it's fun. Because it's for fun. Yeah. And, and that's, the root, that's one of the things I'm trying to really incorporate into my tutorials. Tricking is meant to be fun. So the way we teach it should be fun. It should, it's not serious, is it? So it shouldn't be. And that doesn't mean you can't have the most information delivered in the best way, but it should be fun as well. I think that's a really important thing that everyone skips over, most people anyway. And then the, like, think of tutorials in the past that have been more fun and funny. They never have like good information in. I see the one or the other. Why not have both? Because no one, no one else is dedicating hundreds of hours for one video. That's true. It is a stupid thing to be doing. But yeah, yeah. No, it's not though, because it's clearly <laughs> working, isn't it? No, People no. People fucking it, love KTL. People I, ride I, or die for that shit. I know it's not stupid, but I, I act like it is. But at the same time, it is a bit it, stupid. It is stupid as well. But at the but same that's, time, that's the I'm, I'm looking like, 10 years into the future though. And, ten, right. and then I'll, like, I know where it's going to go, so. Um, yeah. Right. I don't know. T Tiki said, I had some takeaway pizza bopped out on my hands <laughs> by an angry football guy whose team just lost. Just like, uh -huh. push, <laughs> just walking past <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Not Sweet that little Tiki, before. just looking at him. Just bless him. Just earlier that day doing Dub Dub Trip and just looking at this, this grown hairy man, this grown hairy fat man hitting this pizza out of this young young man's hands. He's riding high, he's excited, he's done his dub dub trip, things are going real great, treats himself, treats himself to a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what? I love it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, oh, Lord. All right. Uh, Jeremiah said, Sam, you should try and invent a new trick, and I'll try to do it. Have you not heard of the Kojo spin? <laughs> oh, that, that's an obscure reference. So watch every <laughs> Plan Zero video, and you'll know about the Kojo spin. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm looking forward to that, that play time I get in the gym. I can't wait to be oh. back in the gym. Adam oh. Sturge just says, what's your most hated gym? Everyone should know this. Steel City gym in uh, Sheffield. I hate that gym so much. Worst gym. Um, yeah. Answered. <laughs> Worst gym of all time. It made me want to leave Sheffield. That gym. What is the worst gym of all time? Steel City gym is the worst gym of all time. It's the worst gym, man. It doesn't have a floor. It's got made like... Of, is that the one that was made of tyres? Yeah, it's, it's made of tyres. It's a gym made of tyres and it's got a load of metal cables <laughs> going into the ground, like where you're trying to trip. You've got to dodge metal cables. What was that? Was, was it Workshop, oh. the gym that I went to? One workshop was floor. bad, but Workshop was amazing compared to, compared to Steel City Gym, but yeah. That's so funny though. Like the Pink Floor Gym. I love it. Oh, Tiago remembers. He said, I, I just recovered a memory from you saying Kojo Spin. Yes, the, the Kojo Spin is a legendary movement. Some say it shaped, it shaped tricking. Tricking is the way it is because of the Kojo Spin. And tricking would be nothing without the Kojo Spin, if I'm honest. Some say. Some say. Some say. Not me, but some say. Not, not some Kojo. No, nah, never some, some Kojo, but 
Others, others say. Real people. Can't tell you who they are. <laughs> um, I wouldn't like to. Dilk says, how long before show say does dub in and dub out? No, dub in, dub out. The way, didn't he also say earlier on, I forgot to address this, how long until he does show say step, dub in? He'll do that. Yeah. It'll be yeah. weird and kind of not flip out, but he'll do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, official Koryagi said, can you give me a trick and I'll train it till I get it and show you. All right. <laughs> Cork swipe nine, hyper, GMS. Oh, don't make him do that. <laughs> don't make him do it. He might hurt himself. No, I'm joking. Please don't do that. Please here's don't one, do that. Here's one you should do. Um, trying to think. Something medium sort of level. Um, do a pop 360 and then twist and do a D leg. <laughs> I don't know. No, don't do that. Never do that. Um, yeah, just don't do anything. Just, honestly, go to bed. You know, get get some rest. Get a good. Get some kip. You know, <laughs> rest your body. Best thing for you. Good night's sleep. That's all you need. Forget about these this trick nonsense. Get more sleep. Get, just keep. Whenever you want to do some flips, go to sleep. Yeah. All right, my man, um, Anthony. Was it Ant? I don't know. Ant he says, I trick once a week, so progression is slow. Ash. That's what he says. Sweet. Trick more than once a week. You should should try that. But even if you if you only have one gym session a week, this is something that I used to do a lot that I think more people should do, especially when you're starting out. Add like mini sessions into the week. Like if you have one gym session, then get like two or three mini sessions in. It can be 15 minutes. You could just warm up and then focus on one thing. So for those 15 minutes, do as many B-twists as you can. Try and do them as nice as possible. And then just stretch, stop, do something else. And just doing that, if you add that in like three times a week, let's say you did, um, let's say you just did 15 of those B-twists. Well, that's an extra 45 B-twists a week. And then after 10 weeks, you've done 450. After two years, you've done an extra 4,000 B-twists, over 4,000 B-twists. How much better are you going to be at B-twists than the guy who just went to that one session per week? Tell me, that. Tell me that. Yeah, work it out. Crunch the numbers. Get back to me. Show me your, your workings as well. I want to see on a full, full sheet of your equations. <laughs> Send them to oh, me. Talk, talk, Post them to me. <laughs> well, I've got to go and buy a fan. <laughs> what? You gotta go what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy a fan in a minute. Um, fan. A fan. It's good to get. It's good to let the fan up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just got me thinking of gigs. Um, are you you're coming to mine, aren't you? Yeah. We're gonna play Gears of War. Me and Ahmed have been playing Gears of War. Um, I have an Xbox 360. We recently won the FA Cup on FIFA <laughs> 2009. So we're keeping it real out here in Birmingham. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna complete the the horde on gears. Of we're gonna war. fight off the horde. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've been working hard in the day, so we're trying to do more fun things in the evening. Obviously, yeah. got no mates, so there's only so <laughs> much you can do. Just just armies, couple other <laughs> mates, but you know, um, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Struggle with these social skills being flipped fanatics. Now nah, we got friends. Yeah. Just all our friends are around the world, and the world's closed, so it's... it's so <laughs> <laughs> the, world, the world's closed for business. Yeah. We've got 30 seconds left, by the way. Oh, my, my man, my man, Tiago. Why not play COD or Warzone? It's because I live in 2011, mate. I live 2009. in... I don't even have Xbox Live. It's now, I 2009. I don't play games. I don't actually play games. I just I play them for for jokes. I just piss around. I don't take it seriously. <laughs>